that threat of Rachel. She is down to her final three. But on Monday, all the guys she rejected are getting together for the Men Tell All episode. EGL Line's Lauren Zima went behind the scenes of the special, and here's a preview. Oh, I would do it. How would you describe tonight specifically in a few words? Um, an arduous journey. <laughs> it was wild. It was it was unexpected and I think unpredictable. The leftovers pulling no punches and speaking their minds. It's talking about playing cat and mouse, but it's like Kenny may be the mouse, but he's kind of a. It's the first time they've been able to talk after watching the season, and that's what I think is so beautiful about tonight. Because Lee, I understand where you're coming from, but I feel like you haven't acknowledged exactly what you're. We're trying to forgive you for. Lee specifically called out for some of his behavior. I think you're just saying I've been a bad person, but you're not acknowledging the kind of invisible racism in your mind. I like that he was responsive to it. Maybe he was giving his lip service to and apologizing, and maybe he doesn't fully realize, but I think it was a good step for him tonight. And who are you okay never seeing again? I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. Lee, Tamario. You thought you could tell this girl you were ready to wife her when you were in my bed. I can't even look at you right now. Were you surprised by how Demario really threw himself into this? I thought you were going to say, am I surprised how he threw himself under the bus? I mean, I really thought that he would come in and be very contrite, apologetic, maybe even a little quiet. He was anything but. But what you will not see on Monday night is the reveal of the next Bachelor. Dean, Peter, Brian, Eric. There's four great candidates right there. But in all seriousness, we've not picked a Bachelor. So I can tell you, uh, no bachelor is chosen. We're going to wait and just watch it all play out.